We are here live uh, from the PlayStation booth at E3 to talk about a new PlayStation VR game that was announced just last week in PlayStation's Countdown to E3 program, and that title is Ghost Giant. It's very charming. We've got the guys from Zoink here. Welcome, folks. Hi. Hi. Great to have you. Thank you. Great to yeah. be here. It's cool to be so, here. So uh, let's, we have a little bit of footage. I want to show people what this thing looks like, but uh, it, is, it is super, super adorable. And it's got a great message about sort of relationships and, and friendships. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we're trying to do create a, st it's a, it's a puzzle French. adventure game, but we're really trying to put a story in there that we feel has a message that is important. Um, maybe all of you want to talk a little bit about the story itself? Uh, yeah, uh, you play as uh, the ghost giant, uh, like a spirit guardian of, of uh, the kid, Louis, <laughs> uh, who is uh, very lonely uh, and uh, sad. Uh, and he, um, he works on, um, on, on a sunflower farm together with his mom and he's kind of quite overworked and trying to handle, you know, uh, meeting friends and at the same time juggling work and, and he's just, he's just uh, exhausted. And that's where you come in and, and help him out through, through his everyday life. Yeah. Uh, it's like his superpower. So this fuzzy little character we were seeing running around there, that's uh, Lewis. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Lewis has, has some problems. Tell me a little bit about that and where the ghost giant sort of this. steps in. Well, um... When we started, when I started the project, uh, I actually originally created the, ori the original prototype for this game, and I really wanted to create a game where, we, I mean, at Sewing, we've done a lot of story-based games before, and I thought uh, it would be cool to have that you are, as a player, really are in there, in the game, with the main character. You know, there's a lot of games that you play, uh, and you see it on the screen, you see the character walking around, like, like old classic games like Monkey Island, Party Click Adventure games, and you feel like you sort of have a connection to the, to the character that's on the screen, but here in VR, you could really be there with the character now. So we thought it was been, I thought it would be really cool to have a game where you actually really become friends with the main character on the screen. Um, and then, of course, yeah, uh, Louis has some problems in his life, and he's a very lonely kid, and, and you sort of manifest you're still, yourself there as sort of almost like a, a guardian angel, a protector, but you're sort of also in a way part of him. You know, or you are something inside him that awakens to help himself. And I mean, as we saw that adorable part in the trailer where he just sort of sees the ghost giant and freaks out, he's a little apprehensive at first. He doesn't, yeah. doesn't know what to make of it, but the more that you play, the closer you guys start to become. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, the game, in the beginning, of course, a lot of the big part of it is really just making sure that he is not scared of you, of yeah. course, you know, making sure that you actually are an okay person to have. And, and that part is... I thought that would be really funny to actually and really interesting to sort of like, you know, almost like having a, yeah, a little animal. I mean, you are quite scary to, to make sure that you are a nice guy, you know? Step by step, gain his trust. And, uh, nice. So then how does the gameplay start to get woven into the story? So I, it definitely looks like it's an interesting connection. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I mean, the gameplay is really much about like, in a way, I mean, we work a lot with voice actors. We have a lot of games we've done before, so a lot of e excellent voice actors. Uh, so we work a lot with story, and it's a lot about going around this environment, this little cute village, listening to what they want, fi finding out what they're interested in, and of course, then helping in different ways. Uh, Louis uh, getting through these obstacles he has to actually solve these problems. But it, it feels a lot like you really want to dive in there and actually get to know all the villagers and get to know how their connection is to each other. Yeah. Because you sort of see in the trailer sort of poking around. It's like a bit of a sandbox experience that you're poking here, you're lifting things up there, moving yeah. everything around. Yeah, definitely, yeah. That's, that's, right. that's the main interaction. So mechanically, you're sort of trying to set things right in the world as the ghost giant, right? I mean, you're, you're pulling obstacles away. I saw you could, like, spin buildings around to see what's happening inside. Tell us a little bit about how that works. Yeah, do you want to... Yeah, we were looking for like a, you know, like a dollhouse feeling almost, like op opening different uh, walls and, and uh, roofs and just peeking in and uh, listening in on the stories going on there and like listening what the characters uh, want. And, and like we, we were talking a lot about, uh, about when you were a kid and would like build, build worlds and like build uh, little towns of cardboard box or like and imagine that the toys would have actual life. And that's something we try to channel into the style of the game. And like it's yeah. supposed to look quite crafty. And, and yeah, the style, we, we really wanted the style to look like it's almost like a kid could have made it, you know? So mm. it feels playful, it feels <laughs> not too polished, you know? Yeah, exactly. I'll just glue it together with lots of tape and paper. Uh, um, yeah, so it has that sort of charming but also relaxing place to be in. So, so I have to confess, I've never thought about a ghost being giant. Um, 
Can you talk at all about sort of what the character is or, or, or what he represents? Um, he, I mean, in a way, he, he repents, represents something that, that Louis really need right now. Now, he doesn't have that, and, and, and it's kind of like, in a way, something inside him that he needs to push him forward to help him through these obstacles. Um, and a ghost, I mean, it also kind of cool that, uh, that it's, 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 it fits really well with the story that, of course, Louis is, Louis is the only one who can actually see you. Nobody else can see you. Um, so that's also why they have such a great connection to each other, you know, why you have a great connection to him. And obviously, it's so great. I mean, I, I always, first time I saw VR, I thought it was so cool that you actually could put your hands through stuff, you know, go into houses, grab stuff from behind, <laughs> you know, poke somebody, you know, who's inside and just not scare them, but play around with them, you know? Yeah, like really be a part of the world. Yeah, yeah. Versus yeah. sort of like interacting into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And Louis um, actually like recognizes you as, as a player or like a god, if you will, or like in, in this world, or like recognizes that you, you are there playing around with. Yeah. It's environment. And yeah. It's, uh, that's, yeah. That's great. I mean, it's Ghost Giant. Do we have a release time frame on this, or are you still working away? Still working on that. Still working yeah. away. So we'll have to wait to hear a little more about that. For sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's shaping up really well. Uh, really excited you guys were able to show us a little bit more, give us yeah. a little bit more insight into the development process and what we can look forward to there. Yeah. So thank you so much. That was Ghost Giant. We've got a lot more PlayStation VR and a whole bunch of other great games coming up all day long. Stay with us. PlayStation.